Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be taking us through the Exodus wallet. Now there's a few different wallets that you can use, um, kind of Coinbase and blockchain are the sort of most popular ones, but there are other wallets out there as well. One of the ones that I really like is the Exodus wallet. With the Exodus wallet you can store different types of cryptocurrencies in here and you can do different types of exchanges as well. The reason why I like it as well is that it is a um, software based wallet. So what that means is that you install it onto your laptop or onto your PC. It's compatible with either Mac or it's compatible with Windows. Um, kind of the things that are necessary that I think that they kind of need to step up a bit is the fact that you don't have any kind of two-factor authentication um, into it. So you haven't got any extra level of security. You're just literally putting in your password in here. Now I've already set up my wallet, but if you need any questions answered, then please feel free to ask. So when you first go into the Exodus wallet, um, it takes you to a section called Portfolio. Now it's got a really nice look and feel to it. Um, now we can see at the moment, it gives you a breakdown of the different types of um, currencies that your portfolio is made up of. So in here, you've got um, a Bitcoin breakdown where you can see that I've got 45% in there. You've got Ethereum, so you can see I've got 29% in there. Litecoin with 26% percent in there and then different currencies in here as well so it's really good if you kind of want to diversify your portfolio of different types of currencies just to kind of view how you've kind of got that broken down what i'll now take you through is the wallet so in the wallet here it's broken down in, again into the different cryptocurrencies you can see how much you've got in here it gives you the conversion into us dollars here as well and it'll show you any type of transactions that you've made in terms of what you've sent and what you've received in here as well and it will do the same for Ethereum, Lycon, Salt, or any type of other cryptocurrency in here. If you want to add more, you've got add more section in here. And you can obviously go in here and choose the different types of cryptocurrencies. If I take us back to our wallet, in here as well, we can go through to send and we can go to receive um, Bitcoin or Ethereum, etc. I'll just take us through to exchange and then I'll go through the process of actually sending and receiving cryptocurrencies. So in exchange here, it allows you to exchange different types of cryptocurrencies. So from here, you can see that I can exchange from either Bitcoin, Ethereum or Litecoin, because obviously they're the currencies that I have been built into here. And then I can receive them in those currencies also. So I can choose to go to Ethereum and I can say that I want to receive in Bitcoin and I can exchange those straight away across. So what I can also do is I can select all, so I can say pass across and exchange all of my Ethereum into Bitcoin. I can choose half, which is so just half of what I've got in my wallet, or I can choose the minimum in there as well. And then if I want to do that, it tells me the amount that I'm exchanging. So for example, if I'm exchanging Ethereum into, into Bitcoin here, you can see that the amount that I'm exchanging is $10 because that's the minimum. And it's actually receiving and it'll only receive $5.35 into Bitcoin. And so that's the current exchange rate at the moment. And then you would just click onto the exchange and go through that process. If I now take us into the settings. So in here, very similar to where we had the add more on our, um, on our wallets, it allows us to either enable or disable or show or hide different currencies in here. And there's a whole host of different currencies in here that you can use. You then have the localization, so you can choose your currency. Now I'm from the UK, um, so I could change this to GBP. Um, however, I choose to use US dollars purely for the fact that I invest into a lot of different platforms that deal with US dollars and it's easier for me to track things in here. But obviously, you can go through and change that in there. You then got skins. Now, this is one of the really kind of user friendly parts of the Exodus wallet. Um, you can change your different colors, you can change your textures in here, you can change different themes, you can have you know, dusky skies. And then you have personalities as well. So in here you have fellow YouTubers in here and you can choose their different types of themes that they're using. Um, I'm just gonna change this to deep space. And what I'm now gonna do is take us through back to our wallet. So in here we can choose again to send or receive. So I'm gonna take us to receive. And if you want to receive, you have a choice in here. So you have your, um, your address in here and you have the option to copy the address, to print the address, email the address or view it on blockchain. If you have a mobile app, you can also scan this address also. If I go to copy, it will then 
come up and say that the address has been copied to the clipboard. So that way I can then take that address and then send that across to my um, sender who is going to be sending me my Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. Fine, now take us through to send. In the send here, obviously I can put in the address that I'm sending this to, and then I can type in the amount. So in here, I can choose to send an amount of Bitcoin, or I can convert that to US dollars also. So if I put in here, if I choose that to US dollars, and type in 100, if I then click on to Bitcoin, it'll then do that conversion. So if I say 100 US dollars here, it'll tell me that I'm sending 0.012, etc., etc. If I now take us through the send, in here I can obviously put in my sender Bitcoin address in here. And what I can also do is put in the amount that I wish to send. So in here I can put in the amount of Bitcoin or I can change that to US dollar. So I think that's a really handy little feature that they've got in there. So in here you can say, you can put in your address, put in the amount and you can swap that over. You can see, you can see that I've got $40 in here and it will tell me the conversion there as well. In that bottom right hand corner as well here, it tells me what my Bitcoin fee is going to be as well. Obviously with any of these wallets, they always come with their own fees that they, um, that they incur as well. So I'd literally put in the address, put in the amount and then click on to send. Obviously, with all of these type of um, wallets, you always need to make sure that you back up. So I would um, back up in here, ensure that you obviously um, have your backup phrases, print them off, put them off in a safe somewhere, or you can you know, put them into a, a document that you then password protect and so on. You also have a help section in here as well. And this help section is quite handy. Um, it tells you which Exodus version that you're currently on. So you, you really need to ensure that you are on the latest version of um, Exodus just to ensure that some of those exchange rates and fees and things are all kind of you know, up to date. Um, what you can also do is um, view any help videos in here. It tells you what Exodus is. I also have the live chat in here. Now I've not actually had, you know, needed to use make use of the live chat in here. Um, or you know, go to their support systems. But I know a couple of people that have um, have had queries with regards to fees or exchanges, and I hear that they're you know pretty um, responsive. So um, that's always good to have in there as well. Now that's a really kind of quick run through of the Exodus uh, wallet, but just wanted to give you you know another option and an, another way of you know storing your cryptocurrencies. If you'd like to hear more, if you've got any queries, then please feel free to ask. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.